Tonight, police announcing arrests after a string of car thefts in Doral. And part of the crime spree caught on camera here. Let's go to Local 10's Cody Weddle live with a break in the case today. Cody. And Calvin and Nicole, this is a story we first brought you a week ago. Surveillance video showed a group of people snooping around at night wearing hoodies, breaking into vehicles. Well, tonight police are saying it's in part thanks to that video that, that, that they believe they have caught these thieves. This new footage shows their modus operandi. It's pretty simple, really. Checking car doors late at night and early in the morning until they find one left open. But it's this crystal clear surveillance video that ultimately led to their arrest. We are going to have zero tolerance in the city of Doral for any crime. Doral's mayor and police chief announcing they have arrested three adults and one child linked to 19 car burglaries and two car thefts. Rising. A very sophisticated tracking system. We were able today uh, to identify one of these vehicles that was out of the county entering Miami-Dade County. Lopez says they tracked down the four in Hialeah, a firearm among the objects the bandits stole as they prowled around in the dark of night. They sometimes even entered gated communities. Individuals unfortunately have means of access to get inside. The police Not chief only, only on the job since gated January gated 16th now reminding gated. residents Lock your cars and keep your valuables out of sight. So we're urging community members uh, to do the little things to help keep us safe, like lock your doors in your vehicle. If you, have, if you have a firearm legally in possession of it, do not leave it stored in the vehicle. Uh, don't leave valuables exposed. Police have so far not released the names or mugshots of those arrested. The police chief is also telling us tonight that only in the month of January, they have recorded 21 uh, burglaries of vehicles in the city of Doral. We're live in Doral tonight. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News.